Hey guys, how's it going? I cannot believe it. Where did all the time go? We are on the last question of our series. Can you believe it? What? Wait a minute. Time out. This is the last one? Shake your heads yes, no. Yeah, it is the last one. The last question that we have for this week. Wait, my, I'm not sure I'm supposed to tell you yet. Maybe we should watch a video first. No, okay, I'll tell you. Should I tell them? Should, should I tell them? Okay, I should. All right, so I'm gonna tell you. Here's our question. When is Jesus coming back? That's a huge question. You know that's what's happening, right? You know that one day the Bible tells us that Jesus is coming back from heaven, because that's where he is right now, making a place for you and I to hang out. He's coming back. He's coming back to take us out of this sin-sick, awful world that we live in, and he's gonna take us to heaven where he is preparing a place for us. But before we get to any of that, before we get to our story, I want you to take a couple of seconds and check out our video today. It's me, Carlos. Welcome to my channel. I'm your host for... Hey, can I ask you a question? By now you figured out I have lots of questions about lots of stuff. That's why I'm always saying to people, Hey, can I ask you a question? I ask lots of questions. Questions like, if you spelled out the word W, does W start with a D? I mean, think about it. W. It's a good question. And why is it double U when sometimes it looks like a double V? I mean, these are good questions. I have other questions too. Like how come when I order a round pizza, it always comes in a square box? See what I mean? But those things aren't important right now. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show when I get a kid from somewhere in the world to send in their own question. That's right, it's the time when you get to say, hey, can I ask you a question? Today's question comes from George in Georgia. Let's see what George wants to know. Hey Carlos, can I ask you a question? When is Jesus coming back? Whoa, that's a huge question. It's one of those big questions about our faith. So the only place to get our answer is none other than the Bible. The Bible has a lot to say about this subject. Jesus went to heaven over 2,000 years ago. He promised to return and take all of us to heaven one day. But the question is, when is he going to return? When is he coming back? Well, this is one of those questions that the Bible doesn't exactly answer. We don't have an actual date and time for when Jesus is coming back. In fact, Jesus didn't even know when he's coming back. Say what? It's true. The only person who knows the day and time is God the Father. He will tell Jesus when it's time. Until then, Jesus has to wait just like you and me. There's a lot more to this subject, of course, and you're going to learn all about it in your lesson today. I have a few more questions I have to go find the answers to, so I'm going to let you go. Until next time, this is Carlos saying, Hey, can I ask you a question? See you later. You know I gotta tell you what you gotta know. Tell you what you gotta know. You know I gotta tell you what you gotta know. Tell you what you gotta know. Hey kids, it's me. Callie from the Valley, and I'm like here to tell you like what you gotta know. Today, we're like talking about like how Jesus could return at any time to take all Christians to heaven. So, every time today somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. When's he coming? I don't know. Gotta get ready to go. Woohoo! Where are we going? Well, the mall? 
No. An amusement park? Nope. A super, like, cool coffee shop? No. Definitely not any of those places. We're talking about heaven. Jesus is coming back soon. Oh, today? No. Tomorrow? Maybe not. November 3rd, 2045? What? No. Why that random date? Uh, never mind. Nobody knows exactly when. We just like have to be ready at any moment. So, every time today somebody asks you what you gotta know, you tell them. When's he coming? I don't know. Gotta get ready to go. And that is what you gotta know. I'm Callie from the Valley saying TTYL. Hey kids, what time is it? Yay time! What's, What's up, up, New Life, life kids? kids? We are so excited because what time is it, Mateo? Game time. Game time. Let's go. We are playing Eat or Yeet. Valentine's, Valentine's edition. Day edition. This is a game for all you picky eaters out there who don't eat your mom's cooking. Me. <laughs> This is for you. This is for me. <laughs> Let's play. Peanut butter heart candy. I'm gonna eat it because peanut butter and chocolate are fire. I'm gonna eat myself over to the right side. Yo, haterade. Not, not a big peanut butter guy. Okay, conversation hearts. This is a big time yeet. They taste like chalk. I'm gonna say yeet only because I have a memory as a kid where I bit it too hard and it turned too powdery and I started like, like coughing really hard. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. He was just... <laughs> Surf and turf. Oh, look at that. Larry the Lobster and some steak. I'll eat that. Exquisite. I'm still ye. I, I don't like I don't like seafood. Oh, you have the palate of a five-year-old. Okay, let's go to the next one. Cupid corn. That's a so big time ye. Yeah, I, it's just No, nasty. no, no. It's not even real food. God it's, forbidden. No. Hazelnut chocolates. Ooh, the, the, are those the for, for how do you pronounce it? The, the Ferrero Rocher. The one that the, the it's attached. Yes, it's attached. yes. Yeah. Eat. I'll, I'd eat that. I'd eat that. Okay, we've got one eat for me so far. Heart, Heart pizza, pizza. Eat. As long as it's pepperoni, that's all I'm gonna say. You don't like eat. cheese pizza? I like it, but like pepperoni pizza is just like chef's kiss. All right, you're gonna get me upset. Chocolate, chocolate box. box. Eat. Eat. No. Variety. It's I like too it. Too much. Diversity. It's too much chocolate. I need a variety of other things. There are Twizzles in there. Chocolate Rose. I've never had one. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, say eat, eat because I'd like to get one. Bia, are you listening yeah, to this? Yeah, listening to this. I'm gonna need. <laughs> chocolate. Oh, eat. Oh, eat. Big time I could throw those down. You could put me in the eat Glory. section twice. Oh, hallelujah. Last one. Heart shaped hard candy. Like that just looks like a tooth broken. It looks like Skittles. Oh, that's true. But if it were a Skittle, I'd say eat, but it's not a Skittle, so I'm gonna say yeet. Yeah, it looks like it would make my teeth hurt. I think that would be. Man, well, we hope you enjoyed our game Eat or Yeet. That was so embarrassing. That was so good. <laughs> I like. <laughs> Mateo, I'm well, about to yeet you. Let's bro. all forget that just happened <laughs> because something's coming up next. Oh, it's the best time. What's coming up next? Worship! Worship. Get up! Stand up. Stand up. Throw the pillows. Turn the TV up. Full blast. Start dancing like you've never danced in your entire life before. Raise the roof. Just start going nuts. It's going to be awesome. Here Let's worship comes. together. It's a new day and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you. You're making all things brand new. So crazy to believe that nothing's ever going to come. Between all the love that you have for me It's a new day And I'm feeling so alive with you I'm feeling so alive with you Step out, take a breath Knowing you're right beside me Oh, 
It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive with you. You're making all things brand new. So crazy to believe that nothing's ever gonna come between all the love that you have for me. It's a new day, and I'm feeling so alive with you. I'm feeling so alive.
I found it. I found where... Oh, wait a minute. You guys don't have your Bibles yet. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to give you 10 seconds, 5 and 5, 10 seconds to go get your Bible, come back, and we're going to get this great story. Come on, go get it. On your way. All right, you got your Bibles? All right, I got two portions of scripture. They're pretty close to each other in our fire Bible, but if you've got your fire Bible, I want you to turn to page 1,388. That's where we find John chapter 14. Now I'm gonna go really slow so that you get where that is and then I'll tell you where the second one is. What does the yellow light mean? Slow down. What? does the yellow light mean? Slow down. I can't get that. Okay, chapter 14 of John, 1,388 in your, in your kid's fire Bible. And then the second page that you can turn to, just put a finger in it, is 1,402. That's where we find, that's where we find Acts chapter one, and Jesus talking about the Holy Spirit and a promise that he made. So we got John chapter 14 and Acts chapter one. Are you ready for the story? If you're ready, I want you to give me a great big, yes! I, I think I heard it. Here's the story. So remember our big question, when is Jesus coming back? It's a huge question. But we have a, a huge God, a big God who knows all things, and he even knows when Jesus is coming back. But we don't know. But here's the story. So today's story begins at a time close to the end of when Jesus was here on earth. He had gathered all the disciples. How many are there? 12, that's right, 12 disciples. And he gathered them into this room in order to have a meal with them. The meal was part of the Feast of the Passover, a huge, huge celebration day in the lives of Jewish people. It's often called the Last Supper because it was the last time that Jesus gathered with the disciples and had a meal with them before he was sentenced to death and hung on a cross. Jesus began to talk to the disciples about what God was calling him to do. He explained to them that he was not going to be with them very much longer. Jesus told them, I am going to prepare a place. We already know that place now. That place is heaven. When everything is ready, I will come and get you. How cool is that? Right then, Jesus makes it a promise, not only to the disciples, but to all of us. When this place is ready, when heaven is ready, I will come back and get you. I will come back to earth and collect you and take you to heaven with me. The disciples looked around at each other. They had no idea what Jesus was talking about. And maybe today you have no idea what we're talking about. This is the first that they had heard of Jesus' plan to leave them. They must have been sad. They must have been even a bit fearful. They had followed him for the last three years of their lives. They believed that he was the Savior. They believed that God had sent him to save the world. But they had never imagined that he would leave them behind. Sometime later, after Jesus had died on the cross and was raised back to life, he gathered with a large group of his followers. He taught them some very important things, but then he had made a strong statement. Listen to what he tells them. He told them to go to Jerusalem and wait for the gift of the Holy Spirit. He said, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes to you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the ends of the earth. What he was saying to them is that you will be my witnesses right where you live, in your neighborhood, in your state, in your country, in the world. Everywhere that you go, you will be a witness for me. You will be an example of who I am living inside of you through the Holy Spirit. Then just as he said these things, he left. So he comes, 
He dies on a cross, he goes away, he comes back again, and he tells them about the Holy Spirit, and then he leaves them again. But the cool part is, listen to this. He says, even though I'm leaving you, I'm not gonna leave you alone. Where does he go? He goes back to heaven to start to prepare this awesome place for us that we can live for, for all eternity when we die. The disciples watched Jesus rise from where he was and go to heaven. But they stood there not knowing what to do. Two angels appeared and encouraged them. They spoke to the disciples and said, you have just watched Jesus leave and go to heaven. Jesus will return the same way one day. The same way you saw him leave, he'll come again and get you. Wow! The disciples had to be super excited on one hand, but sad on the other hand. They had to be excited that they had seen Jesus again and that he is telling them that he's coming again. But they had to have been sad. Man, our, our Lord has left. Our leader, he's gone but they had no idea when this was going to happen. They had no idea when he was coming back. But here's the awesome part that we can learn from the disciples. They didn't just sit around and wait. Instead, they got busy telling everybody that they could about Jesus' love and forgiveness. They knew that even though they didn't know when Jesus was coming back, they needed to use the time that they had left to share his love with the world. That's what we have to do. Boys and girls listening to us today, that's what you have to do. You have to take the opportunity because we don't know when Jesus is coming back. But it could be soon, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, or it could be 50 years from now, we don't know. But God encourages us to tell everyone about Jesus' love and forgiveness. That's what we can do while we are waiting for Jesus. We can tell everybody. So when is Jesus coming back? Man, we don't know, but it could be any time. What we do know is that he wants us to tell everyone that we know about his love and how he forgives of wrong and of sin. What an amazing story. We're exactly, we know what to do. And our lesson today has given us encouragement to do just that tell others about Jesus, love, and forgiveness. You ready? Now here's your assignment. Go and do that this week. Tell a friend, tell a loved one, tell an enemy, but tell somebody and show somebody with your life God's love and forgiveness. Have an awesome week. What an incredible story that was that we got to hear today. Man, what a huge question. When is Jesus coming back? What a great question. Well, right now what I want you to do, right before we close out and get off to the next thing, I want you to take just a minute right where you're at, close your eyes, bow your head nice and quietly. We're gonna pray. God, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for this awesome time together and for this awesome series as we wrap up this last question, when is Jesus coming back? What an incredible question that so many people have asked. Lord, we thank you that the best news ever is that you are coming back, that you promised to come back for your people. But the truth is, nobody really knows exactly when. The disciples didn't know. People who claim to know and the date comes and goes, they certainly don't know, and we don't either. You say in your word that no one knows the date or the hour that you will return. So what do we do? We must stay ready for you to come at any moment. Because the truth is, at any moment, you could come. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week. It could be right now. So we'll keep ourselves ready. Lord, but also would you help us this week to share your love with somebody else who's not ready, who doesn't know you. Help us in our schools and in our soccer teams and wherever we go to help other people to come to know you so that they are ready too. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, amen. Power lift.
Yeah, we also like to do jokes. Yeah, do you have a joke today? I do. I have one joke. Oh, tell us what it is. Knock, knock. Yeah. Harry, Harry, who? Harry up and laugh at my jokes so we can learn today's power dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you did there. What? You pronounce Harry like Harry. <laughs> it was funny. Uh, it was your joke. How do you not get it? Uh, oh, John. It's time to teach today's part of us. Today's part of us says. So you two must keep watch. For you do not know the day or hour of my return. Matthew 25, 13. Yeah! That was amazing power burst. Yeah, it really was. It yeah. really was. Yeah. But you know what we need? What? We need everyone to stand up yeah, and do the part of us together. Yeah, yeah but, but I need to do it powerfully. Oh, how are we going to do that? Yeah. We're going to do jumping jacks. Ooh, I like it. Let's do our special jumping jacks yeah, yeah. as we do the part of us together. Yeah. You do your part. Okay. This is my part right I here. do my part. Here we yeah. go. On the count of three. <laughs> One, two, three. So you two must keep watch. For you do not know the day or hour of my return. Matthew 25, 13. Yeah! That was a very powerful part of us. Yeah. You may have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, yeah we're brother. Yeah. It's time for us to go. Oh, but until we teach you another power of us, my name is Ben. And my name is Glenn. And we'll see you next time when we pop you up. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Well, what a great day. What a great series it's been here at New Life Kids. Hopefully, you tune in for every episode. If you missed any of the questions, any of the answers, make sure to go back on our YouTube channel and check out those episodes. But right now, it's time for one of my favorite parts of the day. It's time to get your mom, your dad, someone from school, someone from church, call them on the phone and go through five questions and share any prayer requests at the end. We'll see you right back here next week for a brand new series.